Hi, Dr. Goldberg here, continuing our lecture series on in infectious diseases. Today we're talking about agents that we can use for MRSA infections. Uh, there's many of them, but today we're going to focus on linazolid, which is an oxazolidinone. Uh, this blocks in protein synthesis at the ribosomal level. Uh, it's unfortunately quite expensive, <clears throat> um, but it's 100% bioavail uh, bioavailable, so oral aid, oral uh, the oral uh, agent is just as effective in terms of the concentrations in the tissue as the IV uh, agent. So we do have to watch for bone marrow toxicity, especially low platelet count, serotonin syndrome, since it's an MAO inhibitor, if, if it's given, especially with SSRIs, which is contraindicated. Watch for neuropathy and GI side effects. It's good also for VRE. There is a new uh, oxazolidinone out for 2014 uh, known as Tadizolid or Sevextro. Uh, it's a 200 milligram daily dose rather than a BID dose, which is linazolid, and it also supposedly has less bone marrow uh, dysfunction with use. So be aware of, the, of this, uh, these two agents that are out there uh, very effective for MERS infections. Other agents that we use for MRSA include trimethoprim sulfa, the tetracyclines, clindamycin, rifampin, the quinolones, daptomycin, vancomycin, ceftaroline, uh, tigacycline, and delbavancin or telavancin. So each of these agents are very effective uh, when, they, when the MICs are uh, low. Uh, trimethoprim sulfa, of course, you got to watch for skin rash. It's used orally or IV. Also, bone marrow suppression is possible. Doxycycline and minocycline are effective oral or IV. Uh, clindamycin, on the other hand, be careful uh, with the MICs for that because it's, it's not always effective for MRSA. Rifampin, we can use IV or oral. It's very good in the setting of uh, prosthetic infections. Of course, it's generally used not alone. It's always with another agent. Quinolones are uh, MIC dependent, uh, so watch for that. Daptomyosin is primarily going to be used, obviously, in the IV setting for MRSA uh, endocarditis or bacteremia. Not good for lung penetration. Vancomycin, we like to use if the MIC is less than 2. And of course, ceftaroline is a fifth generation cephalosporin, the only cephalosporin effective for MRSA. Uh, Tigacycline. Delbavancin and Televancin are other agents that can be utilized, all IV, the latter agents having a longer half-life. So be, be aware of these agents that we can use for MRSA uh, infections, and uh, uh, fortunately we've got a, uh, a nice ar ar uh, array of, of antibiotics that are utilized, um, but linazolid I tried to focus on a little more today. So thanks, Dr. Goldberg, signing off.